Hey y'all. Today is Good Friday. Amen. I hope everybody is doing good. I am off work today. I've been spending the day unpacking boxes and cleaning things and organizing things. So I look terrible. But at this point, I feel like y'all are used to it. Here lately, this is like my permanent form. So maybe if I just stop saying it, y'all will just think it's normal and won't expect anything else from me. <laughs> That's where we're at. That's where we're at at this moment. But I also know that y'all are not here to see me. You're here to see plants. And that's why I showed up today, okay? I showed up. I came as I am. We're family. I know you're not judging. So today, we've got equigenera plants. And I know y'all are probably so sick of seeing me unboxing plants, but listen, I wish I could stop too. <laughs> Say no. <laughs> like for real, but also just kidding. <laughs> but not kidding. Anyways, we got bangers i mean obviously we get bangers in every box otherwise we wouldn't be buying them but this box girl this box is a good one let me tell you before we jump into it make sure that you're subscribed if you're not subscribed already i appreciate you we have hit 300 subscribers which is wild i appreciate all 300 of you y'all are the goats all right we're jumping straight into it y'all because i need to get back to cleaning Oh, goodness. The first plant that we are going to... Ooh, my hands are so dry. Listen, I've been scrubbing and cleaning stuff, okay? My hands are going to be dry. This is the Philodendron Esmeraldense. Everything in here feels a little wet, which makes me a little nervous, but... Ooh, ew, okay. I feel like I can kind of smell something rotting <laughs> in here. So I'm scared. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. But it's all right. I think it's manageable. Damn. <laughs> Don't y'all hate when people react and you're sitting there like, fam, show us. My bad. Hold on, y'all. I got you. Just give me a minute. So I definitely know where the rot smell is coming from because we got some rot on this. But here is, sheesh, the Esmeraldense, Philodendron Esmeraldense. Y'all, stop playing. <laughs> Look how big this thing is. I'm five foot four. I am sitting down, but this goes to probably my hip. Wild. Wild. I love the philodendron esmeraldense. Honestly, I like it more than the anthurium esmeraldense. Um, but dang, y'all. Stunning, gorgeous. Can't believe it. Here's the issue, though. Oh, here are all the other leaves. Let me, let me show you the plant before I start picking it apart. Okay, here we go. Leaves. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Now you'll start to see what's going on. What's going on? We got some, got some blacking, blacking. We got some, we got some stuff happening right here. This is the newest leaf though. It's been through it. So we're going to give it grace. Um, but then we also have like a mushy, like this is mushy. I don't want to touch it because I accidentally touched it a second ago. Hence my ill earlier <laughs> but it's like mushy and can you please ma'am you see that it's now it's focusing on my face it's like mushy and gross and I feel like that's what I was smelling because it's kind of molding too actually no that's not what I was smelling oh great uh that's <laughs> scary okay we're definitely gonna scrape all of this off because I'm I'm thinking it might just be like the outer Maybe an old caterpillar, an old leaf stem, something like that. Um, but the stem itself feels fine, so I think we're good. But I do want to get that off before it starts kind of moving its way down. But dang, y'all, look at that. Insane. Did I tell you this box was going to be different? It is definitely going to hit different. Y'all, there really is nothing like the endorphins that you get, or at least that I get, from bringing in new plants. I really feel like I just worked out for an hour in the gym, just ran a mile, just had a really protein packed salad, took my vitamins, like all the good things. I get that from unboxing plants, y'all. It's the excitement, the adrenaline, the happy, happy endorphins, all that. So I know that y'all are probably like, oh my God, it's another unboxing. Are you right? You're you're really right. I I know. <laughs> but let me live my life. Listen, promise you my bills are paid. <laughs> promise you my babies are eaten. 
I don't ever go over my budget. That's the thing. Like I do set myself a budget and I don't allow myself to go over it. My husband's okay with it. I'm okay with it. My family's okay with it. It's all good. It's all good. And I don't spend my money on nothing else. Genuinely, not clothes, clearly. <laughs> I do my own nails. Well, with the exception to my pedicures, but those aren't expensive. <laughs> I do my own eyebrows. I do my own makeup, like all that. I literally don't spend on anything else. So I don't want to hear it, okay? Keep it to yourself. All right, anyway, enough of the trash talking. Here we go. <laughs> Adela no Adela Nima. Adela 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 Nima. Jesus face. This is the Adela Nima Creeps. Are we interrupting you? What the hell? <laughs> like I was saying, the Adela Nima Creeps. I've never heard of this before, y'all, but this is a really cool plant. Y'all know I'ma buy it if it looks cool and I figure it out once it gets here. That was this, that was this. <laughs> that was most definitely this. But look, what is that? I've been really, really digging these type of long leaves, like the uh, Spiritu Sancti, Bernardo Pazzi, the Billetier, all of those, these like longer leafed babies. I, I've just been digging that vibe. And so when they showed this, again, this was in a live sale and I will put their Instagram below in case you ever want to join in and see what it's about. But once they pulled this out the bag, I was like, hey now, <laughs> that's cute. So I got it. I'm, I am going to have to look up its care because I've never heard of an Adelanema. Adelanema? Adelanema sounds more planty, but yeah, never heard of it. So I am going to have to do research, but look at the stems. I didn't notice this before. It's got like Ow, they're actually like kind of sharp. It's got spikes. It's literally got spikes like a rose. That's crazy. Wow. Is this supposed to be in a home? I don't know. <laughs> but are any of them supposed to be in a home? Let's be honest. So the roots look really good. Ow, damn. Let me grab it up here. The roots are actually looking pretty good in here too. So, oh, we got a new one. Got a, a fresh, healthy, juicy. Yeah, it's got like tons of healthy new roots. So that's good news bears. I like it. Okay. At least we know it was healthy before I got my hands on it. So if it dies, that's on me. <laughs> it's all me. This? Yes. Okay, y'all. Y'all know I've been wanting one of these. I literally said this. I said I was going to try this plan again. So I don't want to hear no nonsense from anybody, okay? Unless it dies. Then give me all the hell you can because I... <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Oh no! Man down! We've got a yellow leaf, but that's okay. I hope it's okay. Oh, the roots look scary. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Don't panic. We, we don't know the situation yet. Don't panic. Let me introduce you to the Thai constellation. <laughs> look at that big, beautiful baby. Ooh, wee! Mm. I told y'all I was going to try it again. So here I am trying it again <laughs> and most definitely sticking this thing in pawn because I have had two of these in the past and they always rot and die on me. And I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, well, like the new batch of Thai constellations aren't good. If you had one, you know, from like 2019, they were good. No, baby, I, I had, I had one of the OGs, like the ones that were supposedly rock solid from 2019 still killed it so we can't even blame it on the tissue culture baby it's, it was me <laughs> for some reason I could not keep these alive but I have not tried it in the last couple of years we've grown we've learned me we matured so I'm hoping that I can sort it out this go around but dag on if that leaf isn't pretty sheesh let us pray <laughs> please please Take a moment on this Good Friday to pray for this plant, please, please, because I'm nervous. It's nervous. We're we're all nervous, but it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. <sighs> right? <laughs> this leaf obviously is going to be gone and that's fine because, you know, it is what it is. The rest of the leaves actually look really good, so we're not worried. The roots don't look amazing. Like they're definitely rotting in here. You see that? It's definite, definitely rotting. See how it's like healthy and then it's like, skirt, not healthy. <laughs> Y'all see what I'm talking about? Yeah. 
So that makes me really nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, we got this. I am, I am sticking this in pond though, because my regular Monstera loves the freaking pond. I do feel like the Deliciosa type Monsteras just do better for me in water. Like I could literally stick that thing just in water by itself and it'll thrive. Let me put it in Coca Cord, dirt, Reptibark, any of that. Immediately, no. Immediately, no. It's it's instant death. So, the only option we have at this point is pond. But I uh, watch Hakuna La Planta here on YouTube, and I will link that channel down below as well. Their ties are so stunning, like beyond belief, insane fenestration, and they got it in pond. I think some are in pond, some are in Lekka, and he might have some cuttings in soil, but like his plants are thriving in that pond slash Lekka. So yeah, we're definitely, we're going, we're going the pond route, this go round. Say a prayer. I hope it does well. I think it's going to be all right. It might take a little finessing because it looks like it got a little pissed off, but it's, it's going to be all right. Mm. Man, what tape do they use in Ecuador? My God. That's like that Gorilla Glue tape, y'all. They ain't playing around. Next is the Philodendron Melanochrysum. I'm a huge fan of the Melanochrysum. I know they're dramatic. I've had a couple, but I've only had like one leaf cuttings that I try to grow. And um, honestly, these are the types of plants, from at least from what I see, that you really kind of want to buy big because the smaller they are, the more dramatic they are and they don't grow like super super fast so if you're starting from a really small plant or you're starting from like a one leaf cutting two leaf cutting whatever you're you're probably going to struggle like i did because th that's just i don't know for some reason this plant just it acts up until it gets older you know it's got to grow and mature and learn about itself a little bit before it can choose peace i definitely want a melanochrysum in my house because i love them so much they are one of I say everything's my freaking favorite, but they are one of my favorites. So this time around, I was like, no, nah, we're going to go a little bigger. I didn't go crazy big, but we are going to go a little bigger. So that's what we did. Look at these beautiful leaves. Ooh, and it's got a new one coming. So this is the Melanochrysum. Again, this one's going in pond. It's going to go on a moss pole so it can get big and beautiful. It looks like this leaf just popped and it's already popping another one. I did see a leaf snap. I can't find it now. Ah, there it is. So see this one is kind of like this one right here. It has snapped off, unfortunately, which sucks because it's actually really pretty. But if I can get in there to show you, see, it definitely snapped off. Um, ah, well, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> so look at that leaf. Please, how do you not like melanochrysums? If you don't like melanochrysums, please explain it to me. I'm not even trying to be like rude. I genuinely just want to know what you don't like about it. Because like, I just think they're so pretty, especially when they're big. Like this isn't even like big, big, but this is the biggest I've ever seen in person. Stunning, uh, stunning, stop, that's stunning, come on. Anyway, we have some smaller leaves that are gonna fall off. <laughs> But these roots right here look like they were actually really, really healthy and viable before they were shipped. So I'm hoping I can kind of like rehydrate them and get them back into their flow um, and then stick it in moss slash pond, like on a moss pole with pond, um, so that we just encourage the growth that it has going on because it looks like it was super happy before. I mean, this is literally, it has not hardened off yet. This just unfurled and it's already almost unfurling another. So we want it to continue with that energy. I'm super happy about this. This looks really good. I dig it. I dig it. So here's the Monochrysum. Next, this is the Anthurium Waterburyanum crossed with a Warquianum. Look at that. Ooh, stunning. Warwick Weanum crossed with a Waterberry in them. Love that. Mm. This one is very limp, so we're going to get it in some water as quickly as possible, but I love this so much. Ugh. Oh, bellissimo. Oh, boy. All right. This is the Rubrosinctum Platinum. Y'all might remember that I ordered one of these 
in, I think it was like my second Equigenera unboxing. It was, it, it's been a minute, it's been a minute, um, but I did record that unboxing and it didn't end well. It literally died within a couple of days. It was not happy. It was limp, it was angry, it was like done. Unalived itself, didn't want anything to do with it, was not showing up to the party. It was over. Sad, sad song. I was I was so sad about it. So when I saw this one, I was like, yeah, no, we're trying this again because they are stunning. Jaman from Jumanji Plants. Uh, he's got one that looks like mm, so good. The sheen on his is unreal. I'm going to link his YouTube down below and I'm going to try to find the video where he showed it specifically so that y'all can see what I'm talking about. But that man is showing off with that Ruwer Cincta, man. Ugh, let me tell you, the dark leaves with like this platinum sheen to it. I, goals, goals. <laughs> and here we go. Again, say another prayer because I have not had a good track record with these, but look at that freaking leaf, dude. What? Stop it. It looks so good. Even the little baby leaf just looks so good. I want y'all to see it in all its glory now. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case it, it goes left. Y'all see. It wasn't tripping when it got here. So anything that happens after this, call my insurance about. You know, because it was me. Working on a little new one. I don't see roots, but that does not mean there aren't any. I hope. We'll see what those are looking like, but fingers crossed it's all okay and we're all okay and everything is okay. All right, y'all. Drum roll, please. This plant was literally number one on my wish list. Sir, you are ruining the moment. The minute I saw this plant, I knew it spoke to my heart. It was everything I wanted, everything I needed. The mature specimens of this are like breathtaking. Uh, I know a lot of people say they're kind of basic or whatever. You could find the same vibe in a different plant cheaper. I get all of that. I get all of that. Different things speak to us in different ways. And trust me, I want all of the plants that look similar to this, okay? I, I want them all like Pokemon, okay? <laughs> but this is the daddy of all daddies to me. And I, I really am like just kind of in awe and feeling real good, feeling real grateful that I am able to hold this plant in my hands right now and have it in my collection. God is good. I'm appreciative. I humble myself to the blessings that I've been given. And um, I appreciate y'all sharing this moment with me because there's nobody else I'd want to share this moment with. So thank y'all for being here. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Anyway, enough of the warm and fuzzies. Let's just get into it. I'm excited. This plant is the philodendron spiritus sancti these will probably be super common sold at the kroger in a couple years that's fine <laughs> to me it's not about the rarity it's not about the price it's not about any of that it's just about literally like it could be a pothos and if it was on the top of my list i'm gonna feel the same way does that make sense so it's not about the status of this plant to me. I know a lot of people just collect just to collect, just to say that they spent the money on it or that it's hard to find and they were able to find it. Please understand, I don't care about any of that. All right. <laughs> but I want y'all to look up some mature specimens of this plant so you can vibe out with me and understand why like this just, it hits different y'all. It's just something about it. It just, it just hits, it hits a certain type of way that nothing else can. What I'm about to show you is not even going to like give the full scope. Maybe I'll put a couple pictures up real quick. Just, just so you know the potential and why I'm so excited and why it was number one on my list. They are just sexy. Oh, stop. Look at it. Look at it. The leaves on this are like thick too. Like it just, mm, I love it. I love the texture. I love the thickness. I just love, mm, I just love, I cannot wait to watch this baby grow and thrive. I am so freaking excited. <laughs> I'm so freaking excited. Might take a couple years to get to, to what y'all just saw in those pictures, but I'm here for it. I'll be patient. I can wait. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by to hang out with me and unbox some plants. 
Uh, of course, we're going to have a, a repot here in a couple of days. So I hope y'all are looking forward to that. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll reconvene here in a couple of days for that. And in the meantime, I hope y'all are taking good care of yourselves. I hope y'all have a really good uh, Easter weekend if you celebrate it or just a weekend in general if you don't. Sending good vibes your way. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye, fam.